Okay, so I've never played One Shot before. I don't know what to expect going into it. It looks like an RPG Maker game from the title screen here. Um, I haven't progressed beyond this setting screen at all, so I have no idea what's in here. Um, I have been told that there are some things that happen in this game that might not be capturable with window capture. So I don't know what that means. It could mean that it's something like Undertale, where like the game will crash um, on purpose, or that there'll be pop-up windows or something. If I get a sense of what that's going to be like, I might be able to. Thank you, Spikey. I might be able to uh, go in and change my capture to capture my whole desktop to see if that's necessary. Super awesome. A couple people in chat that know about this game. I saw that Serpent shared a emote of the main character as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Dedicated below friend Felix, the judge. Trolls. Oops. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you've picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with the other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Interesting. I like the art style. The title screen's really cool. Oh wow, okay. The beginning is looks very earthboundy. Cave story earthboundy. I really like the graphics in this game. Is it is this um heavily modified RPG maker? Because it kind of looks like it. Walk faster. I'm trying to use a wired controller here. Yeah, I really like the menu sequence as well, for sure. The original was RPG Maker. Access denied. Dusty books. It's too dark to read. Nico. A cat. You turn on run by default, I think. Cancel walk inventory configure. Presumably, I'd have to combine it. VXAs. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. That's me. There's no water in the toilet, and the tub won't run. Their plant sits here. Here. Door is locked. Yeah, music, sound, and art already is really cool. I love the way it just kind of started as well. make the light brighter so I didn't see a light somewhere that I can interact with. The remote is something I have to combine to be able to use, is that right? Walk, walk faster. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something here. Use it at certain locations. So, how does using an item work? It seems like it wants to um, combine it when I go to select it in the inventory. Or is it just if I'm standing in the right place it'll work if it's supposed to work? I'm 
select an enemy and walk around while having it selected. And then if it's selected and I stand on the right spot, something will happen. Ah, thank you. That's helpful. Six, nine, six, eight, and zero. Okay. Oh, but the colors were different, weren't they? Alright. Go back and check it again. Yeah. Green nine, blue six, yellow eight, red zero. color order here. It's uh, blue, green, red, yellow. Be easier. So six, nine, zero, eight. That's clever. Access granted. All right. Cool. You found me. Why? Already too late, not much of the world remains. Just be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. This game seems pretty dark so far. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Ha! I just got a pop up that says you have only one shot, Marstead. Came out from outside the game. Alright, uh, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to capture that when that happens, so let me see if I can get like just the display capture over here. Let's not do that. I'm trying to do it in a way that's not too tiny so you guys can still see it. Pretty neat. And I can probably just swap over to this to show when this happens. We'll see. That's a little bit too tiny. Yeah, I'll just swap between them when it matters then. It's easier the way to the right way to do it, I think. Door unlocked. That was creepy. Anyone? Is off a dangerous looking spark. Yeah, I could maybe set it up on my stream deck now that I know that it's a thing. That's something to light it with. Probably use the stick for it. Oh, cool. Wouldn't be surprised if this game never has combat. That would be awesome if they used the engine for it. Bottle of alcohol. Dips the branch in the alcohol. Makes sense. Probably need to find something to light it with, right? Maybe the sparks from the TV. Yeah, that's a ticket. Small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Basement key. It's interesting. Looks like that's what I would use. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting the notes thing on accident here. Refrigerator's empty, sink will turn on.
Yeah, that would be an easier puzzle to start with. <laughs> Flames are dim but comforting. Ah, I didn't realize that was a door there. That makes sense. It's like the light bulb in the title screen. I love the art in this game. It reminds me of Homestuck. It's very pretty. Now I have a light of some kind. It's exciting. Large light bulb. It's the sun. Just kind of nailing that creepy vibe you sometimes get in uh, like Mother 3, late Earthbound, Undertale. Dig it. Ah, okay. Now this has one of the best sprite art styles I've seen in a game. Like, it's just really simple, but also very precise looking. Yeah, that's a hard, uh, hard tone to nail, right? Like you can do a horror game like Silent Hill, but how do you nail something that's kind of unsettling without actively being scary or creepy, right? It's just unsettling. Quickly travel locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option. The 12 key is A. Fast travel can't be used indoors. Find your game you'd find on new grounds. 2008 in a good way. Yeah. It seems like it's uh, a very precise game as well so far. I guess we'll see, but it seems to really have only in exactly what it needs. Is this all the work of a single creator, like the soundtrack? That's interesting. Huh. I wonder why that happens. Soundtrack, the art, the story, the game mechanics, all that. I wonder why that happens. It's a robot. A few people were involved. I betcha. I usually think that's a good thing. Story-based games like this benefit significantly from an editing voice. RPG Maker games in particular can be really wordy. Although everything benefits from editing. <laughs> like, no matter how good of a writer you are, you need somebody else to look at it and remove stuff. How you do arrive here. Go up in this weird house. It's really dark. It's me. You're the savior we've been waiting for. Great. Please ask me anything. This world. The world has not always been this dim, nor was it so broken. Time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world's divided into three regions. You're on the fringe, the barons. Can't see barons chat. How are you seeing the distance once held our sun? Uh. Is this the sun? Okay, it's our new sun. The previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. Light. Phosphor. Ah, interesting. Kind of a, it, I know that it's a tired comparison, but the whole like, the world is dark and we've lost all our light and someone needs to go and restore the light is very dark soulsy. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. It's Dylan Thomas. My namesake, 
theoretically, although I think it's more like Bob Dylan. I think Bob Dylan took it from Dylan Thomas. In the house, I found this computer it kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. <laughs> okay, so there's some fourth wall breaking. That's very earthboundy, mothery. Those are just meant for someone else. I didn't enter my name in the game. Is it taking that from Steam? That would be our god. I bet it's taking it from my Windows login. I bet there's a save file, like see users Marstead. That's awesome. This is like the one key ingredient in all of these Earthbound U games, right? This fourth wall break, the player is part of the game. It's my PC's name. Oh, people get their real names exposed by this game. That's interesting. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Marstead. Cool. I just named my PC that. You can change my name. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Nico. You are the messiah after all. Dude, this game is sweet. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. It's very clever to just take it out of this. Like, did I type that in? I don't think I did. I shouldn't tell you about our world. I'm unable to help you beyond my programming. I'm sorry. It's okay, bud. Dude. I don't think I can talk to myself outside of uh, preset sequences. Dusty shelves. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open. Self-charging solar battery N87, one year warranty. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power needed. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport from the charge cycle over the last 10 days. If there's a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Maybe I need to open it to be able to use that. Shelves. Can interact with that. A robot may not injure a living person. Okay, so we got our Asimov laws. Map of the world. Even that's really cool. It's like, was it Sigil, I think, is the city in uh, Dungeons and Dragons? I thought maybe I had to hold the power source in front of it to light it up, like, wait for 10 seconds. Small glowing shrimp. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via large electromagnetic field. Customized backup cells for the few most important robots. The electromagnetic fields are much weaker, and the signals are highly specific. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if this game has La Mulana <laughs> earthbound waterfall type puzzles. These for robot is our replacement head engineer, seems unorthodox. Especially the one responsible for last year's incident. So if they had to get her away from the city, that doesn't make it easier to swap super gear. This part kind of reminds me of off as well. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphorus found during the phosphorus shrimp spawn period. 
observe a pond with a bubble over surface, please contact the engineer immediately. We'll dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Housing and their provisions are included on hiring. First come, first serve. Check all the walls now in case there's ever something special. I really like like the camera angle against this window. There's like a, a lake back there, it looks like. Okay, so I don't think there's anything I can get in here yet. I'll have to come back once I get more things. So if I had said Mars said wasn't my name, that would be my chance to correct my name from whatever it pulled from the computer. Did the, you said this game was originally RPG Maker and then they made a standalone version of it? Did the original version read your name as well? Press use to crush me. You can correct it by saying that. Lots of dead robots. Just ahead, yikes. Hmm, that's cool. That one's actually working. I'm not gonna put the sun here. <laughs> Chaotic evil. <laughs> Since I had it out, why would I want to smash a bottle here? Shards would get everywhere. Okay, well, keep in mind that there's a press that I can use here. I'm glad that there's. I like. This is basically an adventure game so far, so adventure games that have custom text for combinations that don't work are nice. Whoa. This looks like the phosphor they were talking about. Keep exploring, see what we can find. Well, the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. But a few for emergencies. Okay. So let me go find this gas mask. Gas mask surplus. How about? I've already said it, but I really dig this game so far. Way up my alley. Throws you right into the universe. It's pretty good at show don't tell storytelling. First puzzle was a little tricky, but it's a good way to establish what to expect from the game. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave the darkness suffocates us all. Hmm, that's dark. Metal safe locked with a six digit code. I do not remember seeing the six digit code. Okay. I love that after that sequence, the main character is just addressing me directly. They jumped right into that concept. Page with faded ink. The mining operation is going smoothly, materials are no longer a limiting factor. Resilient survey metal alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. 291, just in case that's one of the digits that I need.
I like that zone transition. Okay, so I gotta wait till I get a gas mask before I can visit that place. Good to know. I might be in that safe. I don't think I saw enough documents yet to be able to figure out the safe code. Okay. You can get back to it pretty trivially, though. That's great. Earthbound waits to do that. Earthbound and, uh... Mother 3. This is the factory where I can break stuff. Interesting. Gotcha. Okay. Which was the house that I came out of. Gotcha. And this, like indigo color palette for everything, with everything being dark, is really nice. And the yellow of the main character's eyes and the light bulb really help them stand out. I heard that it's pretty faithful. I'm excited to give it a try. I'm probably going to wait for it to go on sale. We've already done Shadow of the Colossus twice on stream, so... Hello. Yes. Oh good, there's a robot here attached to a boat. Okay, fix the robot theater. Okay. Quick and easy time stamping points. We did, uh, I think we did the HD version. No, no, I think we did with PS2, and then we did the remake. Or the remaster, I should say, and this is the remake. A metal pipe. Okay, so I can maybe use that to pry off the top of that thing later. Sure. Go for it. Oh, when I napped, it closed the window. <laughs> All right. Well, let me uh, let me boot it back up. I didn't think it would just close the game. That's kind of cool. It might take me a second, but I might want to quickly see if I can. Um, cool art on the screen there. He's like in a field. I think that happened because I woke up. And the game's gone. We had a good run. I had a dream just now. I saw you did. Wow. So I'm back in my home where there's a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. Interesting. This isn't my world. This isn't the world I live in. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. It's your home. <laughs> no. Shrews and field mice and stuff do. It's also a ball of fire. Cool. <laughs> it's very good. Go to sleep usually. Some people stay up and use computers. So now that we had to switch that pretty quickly, I'm going to set up the Elgato stream deck to be able to swap those manually. I don't have to mess with it. It should just take me a quick second here. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing so that you're not just staring at a boss screen. All right, so we want OBS Studio. We want a source, right? I'd give it a fancy thumbnail 
but maybe I keep. Take a little bit of stream time, but it's not too bad. It's a rare game that actually demands it. this to be, yeah, we want it to turn on this thing, cool, nope, we want, wish this was in a saner order, that's what I want, okay, cool, and we'll make another one here, a separate head of Nico will be archived. Keep the same image, so I'm just going to click all of them in a row. So 20p, and then we're going to do display capture. Okay. I think I can just turn those on and off, right? I guess I always have the display capture on, so what I actually want to do is to turn off this game. If I can find that list here, it is. Okay. So I think this will work. So what we do is if we tap these two buttons, we just get the game, and if we tap these two buttons, we get the whole desktop. Hey, look at that. That was easy. Awesome. I love this thing. I highly recommend a stream deck if you're a streamer. Because it's so easy to just swap really quick between those two things. Go and manually click every time. Back to the game. Let's do it. Yeah. I got it on sale at Black Friday. See a green glow in the distance. can't breathe here. I do have a, uh, let me just see really quick. I'm not gonna smash the bottle. I'm not gonna smash the sun. All right, that's fine. Was this game kickstarted or something? It's not terribly long, but has a really nice, precise art style. That 16-bit look. All right, so we want to go to, I think it was just the outpost, but it's not that long of a walk. If you use the bar in the sun, you get the chaotic evil achievement. Interesting. Hi, Mr. Robot. Nope, I'm good. Safe travels to you as well. Flatten it. Can do. It's a little factory out here. Mm -hmm. That was scary. Is it a crowbar now? Ah, nice. Clever, clever. Profit bot will say more if I talk to him again. Okay. Yeah, so I'm got a pretty strict spoiler policy, but when it comes to like if it's clear that I've given up on something, assuming that it's just gonna repeat the same information, you can go ahead and tell me. That's fine. You tell me about the barons. That's why it's called the barons. Besides robots. be boring. It's very NPC of him. I cannot desire companionship. If you're not sure, you can always type in exclamation point hide and discuss with people whether it's something you should share with me or not. I trust the consensus of chat if everyone's like, yeah, that's totally something you should just say. Prophecy. Prophet predicted a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Good heavens, no. Just means it's built into my programming. Uh, he is a robot, after all. 
tower. I'm not allowed to answer how tall it is. In time, Mars will know what to do. Hey, a little metal cube and some broken glass. This be a machine where it's a solar battery on the side. Okay. Interesting. Place your soft charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. It charges in seconds, no external power. The battery fills a charge, check to see the lens in the front has not been dislodged during transport. Some broken glass in it. Hmm. So I need to get a new lens for the battery, is what it sounds like. Asimov laws, a cool map of the world. I don't think that I have unlocked additional areas to explore. Can I get those shards of glass. I don't think there's anything you can do with a computer, right? Just the power's out. Hmm. Phosphor. There's comfort serve at the mines. I could see using the bottle to get the lens, but taking off the bottom of it. And which, uh, which zone is it? This will be the battery, presumably. It's broken. I thought I saw an exit there and I got turned around. I wasn't 100% sure. I ended up going into a place that had the poison gas after I got turned around. Still don't have a six digit code. I don't think I've seen one. Oh, I just never went east. Okay, fair enough. Cool beans. Portrait art style is great. Is this game connected to Homestuck MS Paint Adventures in any way? It's a very similar art style. What's up, sir? Cats walk on four legs. It's my Rokuten. <laughs> right. towards the tower. Interesting. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time for the robots are recalled. Kip. Backup power cell. Please be functional. Another shrimp tank. Hey, screwdriver. Red. Phillips head. Okay. Worth checking. Love that idea that, like, you've got these bioluminescent shrimp. Is the only light. A 
this table. I mean, the Barons have that capacity in their programming. I'll play chess with you. Seems like the game is pretty fair about not letting me destroy the sun. Who's ever entered the tower before? Never told me if it went anywhere. We're good, thanks. That's all I'm gonna get out of her for now. What about two people? The glass is a bit foggy in the CT till, so. got a screwdriver now. Don't think I've run into anything that requires a screwdriver yet. Wait! What's up? I like the exclamation points it's in a couple other games. Oh, thanks. So I can probably use a screwdriver to get the lens off of this. With a screwed-in lens, thanks game. Sweet. Sweet. Charge battery, heck yeah. Careful, okay. Let me go, I know I've got a puzzle I can do right now, so I'm gonna work and come back. You're rude to leave now. Disregard. She'd say she's going to follow me the one time. Not a vehicle we can't proceed in. <laughs> okay. I guess I could get that minecart. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. Uh, interesting. I guess it also looks a lot like Cave Story, especially the character portraits. written on the side. And so it's his little shrimp battery. That's cool. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Sure did. Don't you know it? I can walk. Made progress. I see you've made progress in this world, Marston. Ah, oh, who's talking to me? That's creepy. Need a code to unlock a certain box. The code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means? No. You still don't know the extent of this world's deterioration, do you? Most of the time, stray pieces of this world would be lost to blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's fucking rad. That's so cool. Okay, hold on. So, I assume what they're getting at here is... We need to check. It could be in my documents. No, sir. Okay. What's the games folder for this that's pretty neat. One shot. Readme.txt. 
to make a puzzle game. Don't be alarmed, it's all part of the game. It works real loud. Okay, so the README doesn't have anything in it. Maybe in the credits? Looking for a six digit code. It's a really cool way to tell me about that too, that it's not in that world. I guess they could have made a folder if they had gotten it from my computer, right? It could be under users somewhere. You can see all my private folders here. Yikes. Documents. <laughs> oh, this game is great. That's so cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just showing my desktop capture. It put this in my documents folder. <laughs> 196087. Fantastic. Fantastic. I am extremely pleased with that. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen a video game do. And it did a good job of pointing me in the right direction and setting me up to that point. Oh, that's the kind of thing, don't give me any clues at all. Um, I'll be able to find it. Don't worry. I got my everything search foo. I found it before the clue, but... If I get stuck, I'll let you know. Alright, let's go to the safe. Super cool. Oh, the window's too small? All right, I'll pull it up here. Maybe I can show you and zoom in a little bit. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Hold on. Uh, dear gobbledygook, 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 message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I've left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that gobbledygook. Read it and you'll know what to do. I have also gobbledygook. Look for a metal safe in the corner of the east, between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 196087. I think also, loot effects, you might be behind a little bit, because you typed that right as I had solved it. One nine six zero eight seven. How do you know the code? I still remember seeing one. I had some help. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's in the safe? Gas mask and a weird looking book. Is it the same weird language? Strange journal. I'll wear it when I have to. Okay, that's nice. So I don't have to actually go around and equip it. Oh, glitch. Interesting. Interesting. There's a couple places I can go with the gas mask now. Oh cool, I like the mask graphic.
Something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to be like a rust. Slower rate than the others. People who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that the result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? See, I thought this was to connect to the starting area I was in. It's a big robot. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Living persons such as yourself should have evacuated long ago. Oh, the Messiah. Greeting you is not part of my programming. I think so. Cannot speak with anyone else. That is kind of sad. Guard this settlement. Not been tamed. It's worth the effort. Interesting. Some robots may start following you around the settlement. Don't be alarmed. It's their job to keep people safe. Stay safe. Okay. Nope, just the messiah. Evacuating the few tamed robots we have here makes sense. No point in keeping this font looks familiar. I can't quite place it though. The engineers can go to. Phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Look so hard on those. Robots are busy with transporting people as is. I think it's gonna be our turn soon. Writing on this one, Guardian of Residential Area. Yeah. So I might be able to break some of these in the future. It's interesting. He's not programmed to interact with me, so he's probably not programmed to... I'm scared of letters. Ah, okay to know to let me pass. So maybe we'll do something in here later. Okay. Unit RM288-3417 reporting for duty. And I'll escort you to your dormitory. Is that going to be inside here? Come on, buddy. I'm presuming, I guess he can't enter rooms right on. Good to know. So the ink is faded. Likely do some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. Break this operation, you don't want to be sustained. And the robot stays on the screen. This is a problem. Terminals don't boot. I don't know what to do. Picture of a robot. Interesting. <laughs> he could do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Beep boop! I'm a robot and I hate batteries. <laughs> ah. That is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Assumed everything was important in this game. Hello, what are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. Okay, that's it for now. Infirmary. Super bright, that is. Hello, organic person who is alive. Person of organic makeup, welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. No injuries detected. We're good to go. Plastic syringe is okay. Carry on.
Brute Force Heroes. Maybe I'll use this to pull some juice out of uh, one of those power cells with a shrimp in it. It's a really cool world building idea. Shrimp power cells. It's gonna follow me until you safely reach a building of your destination. Ah, right. And then he leaves. Gotcha. Surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. At some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the barren. I wonder where all that water went. have some levity in these sorts of games. This is borderline becoming a genre. The Earthbound-like, kind of unsettling, kind of silly game. Oh, this seems a little bit more serious. Follow me if you want. Thanks. Evacuation. Where's the sun dies? I'm out of a job. Good shrimp bun. Don't. If you happen to prawn one, let me know. This must be the other side. I previously was able to access from north of the entrance. Those are taller than me. The amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, the first expedition did bring up interesting observations about the barrens. Not one, but two vent zones. Fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations. It seems a miracle the gas hasn't spread anywhere. The phosphorus shrimp in the crater pools are actively consuming the gas. Shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. Thanks, shrimp. Give us light. Eat poisonous gases. Syringe. Looks like I'm a doctor. <laughs> a bottle of pond water with the consistency of blue. Yahan's puns are a little bit more shrimple than yours. Kick defense. Right, we're back to where we started now. Okay. <laughs> I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Nice to meet you. I am robot, not nah, robot. Can't call him a robot. Are you okay? I can't move. Hmm. How would I help him? 
It's not with a bottle of glue, which makes sense. A bottle of lubricant. Prondishment is pretty good. that the shrimp version of uh, Hades is called Tartarus. Shrimp improvement's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so... I'm seeing if he had anything new to say. He does not. Turn on again. Interesting. Make sure there's nothing else I can get in here. Turn on all the robots. I think there is. Okay. I don't think we found any juice centers that were empty, right? Back to the mine, because I haven't been there in a while. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do in the mine. I don't think there's anything I can crush or that I want to crush. Got a filled syringe, which I don't think I need to use for anything. Shrimp related words are there? There's tartar sauce, shrimp, prawn. We gotta have some more, right? side of this thing before. Something like it anyway. Interesting. Is this another factory that I can go into? I don't think I've been here. Oop. Hello person, welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Pair of rubber gloves. Alright. Okay, so green means I'll wear them when I have to. Gotcha. Please contact the head engineer because I need to repair that guy. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. <laughs> just ignoring this. Here's a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter utilizing the natural properties for use of blue phosphor, acidic gas, and blue phosphor. Direct the gas into your container of choice, seal immediately. Okay, so I think I already did that step.
Hey, good thing I crept the crowbar, indeed. I like the sound design of this game, too. It's just footstep noises, but it sounds cool. Stop breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor in the container, shake vigorously to initiate the reaction, use as soon as possible. Hand protection is critical after this stuff. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I do. How do I shake it is the question. I probably still need to combine it with gas, the acidic gas. Right, there was a shoot one of these vents was right at the bottom of the ground I don't remember where it was though where was that vent relative to one of my warp points can somebody help me out with that it's definitely where I have to go next left gas area, like above the entrance. I guess I can just walk straight there, it's not that long of a walk. Okay, thanks. Thank you. This game released in Japan. The art that I got for the game title had a Japanese start menu. I wasn't sure if it was originally Japanese. I might try to change it when I upload it to YouTube. Somewhere in here, we're saying. Now, now that I've played it, I would be very surprised if this game was originally Japanese. It makes sense that it wasn't. I didn't see this road before. Working on it. Oh, does he have a separate uh, portrait for when he has a gas mask? That's cool. I have to use it quickly after that. Fix my dude. I have these gloves. I can move again! Yay! We save the Tin Men. Take me to the tower. The Glen. It's not good at all. I like his little hat. Speak with the head engineer. She'll know what to do.
We want to actually go to the cliffs. I thought I'd have a teleport to the mines. I guess not. It was just due east. Still really dig that uh, puzzle that had me look in the documents folder, especially after they've already established that they can read your computer. It's really, really well telegraphed. Putting the word documents in green and you're like, okay, it's already doing something with my machine. Hello, small person. I'm gonna look up points. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that's what this was. I see. Robot, it can take me towards the tower. It's having trouble. Navigation circuits are fried. Um... Thanks, Luna. Enjoying this game so far. Same symbol on my uh, gobbledygook book. Common plant. Okay. Just making sure. Do you know how to play chess? I sure do, kinda. Are they gonna actually have me play chess or is it gonna pass automatically? Okay, good. What's it like being a robot and all? <laughs> Have the developers of this talked about their inspiration before? I really hope Earthbound like <laughs> it becomes a genre. That would be great. Driven mostly by indie devs, right? Bravely Default does the fourth wall breaky stuff as well. A 3DS game. Okay, sort of before the sun went out. Interesting. Complete your pilgrimage. safely. Thanks. Thank you for being very clear about that. <laughs> oh, this game, it's really hard to do a puzzle adventure game that's about collecting and combining items. Uh, like the balance of letting the player figure it out themselves without giving it away and making it trivial is very hard to strike. So far, I feel like this game's doing a really good job of it. Let me go fix... Oh, that's right, I can teleport places. Glad they included that feature. It would be a lot of uh, walking like that. Oops. Oh wait, no, this is right. head engineer yet. She lives near the mine entrance. Near the coordinates. I did. 
Oh! This is Amber from the Glen, I remember now. Oh, perfect. All right, dumping puzzle items that we're not gonna need in the next area. <laughs> All right. Good design. Not stressing me out with shit I'm not gonna use later. Oh, I love the art in this game, it's gorgeous. Yeah, whatever would you use a crowbar for for every, for a hundred other puzzles? I guess it was the heaviest thing that I had. Here's your stop, the Glen. The village of North, that's all I can recall. Very well, may your mission be a success. I have not been tamed. Keep using that verb. Whoa. Fireflies for Mommy, an RPG Maker pathing. It's easy to forget that this game was RPG Maker originally. This and Off both kind of take the engine and do something pretty crazy with it. You scrub bars on the general populace. <laughs> right, Luna? Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. It's a bed, more like a mattress. People used to live in these ruins due to flooding muscle with moved to less permanent settlements. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that plaster. You know, I think the reason I like Adventure Time so much is it kinda has the uh, it kinda has that earthbound feel where it's kind of whimsical but also a little dark and unsettling at the same time. Depends on the episode, obviously. But it's the only thing outside of video games that I've noticed with that feel to it. Fireflies, that's cool. But he intends to use tools in everyone. <laughs> Just go up to my friends and say, Hey, can I use this jug of milk on you? What if I combine it with these rubber clamps? Alula? I did hear that. Southeast of here. Hello. Hey, that's uh, Serp's emote he's been using. I see a little girl. She'll be shorter than you. It's the sun. That's me. Excuse me, do you know Chinese? <laughs> well, can you tell me about tattoos? Sorry for my rudeness. Adventure Time feels like it's being DM'd. Gone for three days now. What's she look like? Shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. Oh, his emote must be his this guy's sister. Okay. The words professor. Okay, but not right now. <laughs> Back inside the ruins, as she was headed towards the forest, I'm waiting here now. I don't have places to look. Well, if the village were still young, we've lived in the ruins ever since. So they must have something to do with this book. We'll see. We'll figure out what's up with the club icon. Best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here longer than my arm. Real life has all sorts of branching paths. It's true. You just don't have a UI element popping up to tell you what are you, what are you doing. I feel like babies are doing that, right? My niece Cameron walking around the house, picking up the Roku remote and like pushing it up against everything. She's just playing an adventure game. 
Having a baby around is pretty cool, man. It's like watching somebody's blind playthrough of life. Sometimes people try to spoil it for little kids, and they're like, Why are you so excited about that pigeon? Pigeons are dumb. And they're like, Shut up! Let them figure it out for themselves that pigeons are dumb. Use the sun on everything. <laughs> be a very different game. Doorway's full of vines. You know what would have been great for that, dude? A crowbar. Crowbars can totally remove vines. Son, I am the messiah. That's me. Just pigeon spoilers. I didn't get a spoiler. <laughs> right, Luna? Refuge to this wall. You need to sign your name in this scroll first. The messiah. Gotta find a pen! Alright. I feel like weird, surreal universes like this are the best for adventure games as well, because, like... Sometimes you'll play an adventure game and you're like, really, I have to go find somebody's pen to progress the game? But this one's like, eh, it's kind of a goofy game. Like, that makes sense. The robot has rules. There's no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not working. I know, right, Ludifex? There's things that you get so jaded with that little kids stay excited about, and that's really fun. Kids buying, parents buying over the kids are DLC. Yeah, probably. And the real world's definitely pay to win, unfortunately. Full of microtransactions. Hello again. Oh, sh holy shit! No way. How does the game have the rights to do that? The game just changed my desktop background. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I didn't give you admin rights. Seems I need to help you again. Nick will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need is fallen to the most easily accessible place in your machine. Do you see it? Okay, that's why it changed my background. They mean my desktop. Uh, I don't yet, actually. I mean, I see the background. That's what they're talking about. I know what to do with it. That would be my desktop. But all it is is an image. Maybe I can use it somewhere. Okay, well, I can see that behind me. I'll pull it back up when I actually have to use it. That's clever of them, though. I don't think I've ever had a game screw with my desktop before. Oh, is this it? Kind of looks like it actually. Um, just as a reminder, it looks like this. Hmm. Hmm. I can see why they want you to play this in windowed mode, right? So you can see that desktop background change happen. That's gotta be like top three craziest things I've had a game do that I <laughs> did not anticipate. Putting a text file on my computer, okay, that makes sense. I can see that happening, but changing my desktop mid gameplay. I wonder if this game's in a break in the future, if they're gonna make that a, an admin rights only thing in like Windows 11.
Am I gonna help you that? No problem. That's what I do. Give her the sun. Almost forgotten. It's so warm. So as long as the sun is by her, the vines are gone. That's interesting. That makes it really dark, though. I should be gone when I come back. <laughs> Alright, see if I can remember where the vines were. There were two places with the vines blocking the path, right? Were they both in this building? I was distracted by how cool the desktop changing thing was. I forgot to remember where things were. It's too late for her. I need to report this to the city. Saya gave up the sun. It's a sheep. Hey! You here to trade? Get rid of? I don't think so. I guess the amber, maybe. This guy would trade me the best things for them. Oh, music box. Marbles, bottles, 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 string, wool. <laughs> it's for protagonists in adventure games. I just think they're neat. Fair enough. Sure is. Oh, a friendly merchant. Well, let me keep exploring this way. <laughs> yeah, I had a. I gotta restore my background once this is all over. I wonder if I made a copy of it and will restore it when I'm done with the puzzle. Alter, huh? Cool. Different tones. Also curious if it restores the background, like if I quit the game and restart it, like if it just automatically replaces it while the game is being played. I've definitely never had a game pop up and say you should play this in windowed mode before. It's pretty sweet. Does it just minimize the game in that case whenever there's a pop up? You can answer that. Don't give me more information. <laughs> I got to be careful asking questions and I get answers I don't want. Come on, sheep, move it, move it or lose it. Oh yes, the classic swamp sheep. It's like a stock RPG Maker monster sound effect. This is like the most RPG Maker part of the whole game. A bunch of NPCs with walk patterns and one of them set to stand in place and spin around with a random sound effect being played. I'm telling how long our surpluses will last. How did you know I'm the savior? I don't even have the sun with me. Uh, if I close the game, I don't remember what my question was. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. It's helped me herd my rams. There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Oh, man. Kuko. Wranglin. Move them onto the darker moss. talking about down here, right? Is this, a, is this an ice puzzle? 
<laughs> it's an ice block puzzle, but with sheep. Fantastic. Now, can they only walk in one direction? No. Okay. And that resets at the beginning. Okay, gotcha. So I probably don't actually want that one there. I guess we'll see. This one definitely has to go this way to start. Hmm, I'm not sure I actually want to do it that way. Let's see. Try to plan this out. Answer all my questions is yes. Okay, very good. There we go. Really want us to do this. It's a very forgiving, very slow ice block puzzle. This one can go there, that one can go there, that one can go there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh shit, I had it, and then I... Hubris took over! Sorry, we got it this time. Hubris. Looks like I just put this one down immediately, right? Yeah, wand. Sounds like I was about to say that sounds like a uh, code an idiot would put on his luggage. Alright, let me do. Non ice block puzzle. <laughs> That's awesome. Great service for all ram kind. Return, take this fine ramble. Thanks. That seems like tradey stuff. It's kind of useless. Wool, huh? We got this, Marstead. Well, Fine vial of dye. Eh. First try. You want to haggle? Holy smokes! I was doing a trade with God for a second there. T-shirt hype. I herded rams, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. You know me. Been there, done that. Too cramped, you know? It's not like this place is getting any bigger with the rising waters. The city isn't so bad after all have your anime lady with glasses that conceal her pupils that she's pushing up. Slowly being chipped away already, but still trying to stay alive. I'm bringing back the sun. That won't fix the root of the problem. would be Link's uh, dream over here. Watch one of these have something special in it. No, they wouldn't do that. That would be cool. Wow, your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Like this game started off super dark, literally, and then it's kind of whimsied out a bit, and I wonder if it's gonna wrap up dark again. Would you like some stew? Very 
Queen got off. Covering our village has already lost its glow. It wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people would easily fall into the ocean. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, that up dead. Literally dark. But also dark in tone. Not really. I could talk to God though. What's that like? Really cool. Is why that moss is everywhere. If this was Golden Sun, there'd be seven items in this town, right? I need to play that game again. I remember virtually nothing from it. Last time I played it was outdoors, because I was on the original Game Boy Advance and it was easiest to see that outside. Like, the worst place for a gamer, let alone an RPG gamer. Sort of. Fish population of the villager thinning. Wait, have I been here before? Did I just do a loop around? I think I did. Yeah. This is how I got here. Okay. So, previously this was blocked by vines up here, presumably. Wonder if I can warp now. Yeah, Baktai! I did not own that game, but I remember hearing about it. It's the one with the... You have the vampire gun that only charges when you're in sunlight. It's pretty gnarly. I don't know if it was actually a good game. I think you could play it without charging the, the solar gun. It was just harder. It's a pretty classic Penny Arcade comic about the difficulties seeing the Game Boy Advance screen. I'm still leaving with her. Can't fast travel from here. Virtual console? Really? How did it work? Did they just have a mechanic for you to simulate the sun battery? explore over in this general area. Was there another thing that was blocked by the vines, or have I already been to all the vines affected places? I haven't explored this area out here fully, you mean? Like on the other side of that vine? Okay. Was the other thing that was blocked by vines also in the ruins? Inside. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oops. This kind of looks like the an upside down version of the desktop background that it's set, but not quite. By the robot who wanted a pen. Ah, thank you. Be gone once you no longer need it. Thank you. The answers my question. Hello, Mr. Robot. Yup. Ah, here we go. Is there a puzzle? So it's two, three. Oh, this might be lights out. I might be able to walk back on a space to clear it. I 
rate. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. Fire should be proud. Hey, and then my desktop background changed back again. Delightful. This game is really cool. <laughs> That's the emote. Trapped in here for so long. Alula, how happy she is. So I really does know everything. Bring me to him? Sure. I don't even have the sun with me. Yeah, it reminded me of the sun. Yay! God, she's too chipper to not die horribly, and <laughs> I'm just getting pretty sad, getting depressed about her dying. Music's too happy. Random credit card charges appear in your statement. <laughs> that includes the next puzzle, <laughs> right? But like that's the next level. You now this game kind of opens a design space of what can your what is your computer allowed to fuck with on your or what what are what is a typical Steam game allowed to fuck with on your computer without needing admin rights, right? Sullivan found something to write with. Was that the uh, vines you were talking about, or was it this door here? Could sleep here, gotcha. That is save the game. Her brother was uh not in the village, right? Like what was the area he was nearest to? He wasn't right outside the ruins, that's the leaf girl with the vines that I gave the sun to temporarily. Oh, look, I came here earlier. I'm going to pick up this week's moss sample. Let's try my station to see soon. I see you. Cool. Yes, I absolutely would. Sweet. Water sample. Thank you. Hey, it's more glitches. Interesting. I like how they planted that really early in the game and then didn't really address it again. We also saw it during the desktop puzzle. Yeah, they're telling me I'm going to combine stuff. Although so far everything we've had to combine, like I've never gone to combine it and had it be a surprise. It's all been pretty rational. Need to be fixed. Take it later, maybe. <laughs> right, Aki. Those NSA folks, man, what a friendly group of folks. Big fan. People I get along with, it's totally the NSA. He wasn't in the village, was he? I'm sorry, I actually I forgot where her brother was. Maybe was it the research station? No. Just general forest. Hey, first try. Trapped inside the room and it was really scary. And the Messiah saved me. Yeah, 
glitches. I didn't touch it. It's bad. Anything that touches them gets messed up. Ah, interesting. Just a kid like you guys. They really had a the possibility to, to get kind of uh, cringy, for lack of a better word. A lot of indie games, especially if your main character is a little cat-eared person with glowing eyes, like they could have abused that power, and I feel like they have it in the games. Like, no, he's just, he's just a cat person. He's from the cat world. Roll with it. It's fine. There's some bird people. It's totally not weird. Oh, shoot. I can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> Thanks. I've literally never thought of that. <laughs> uh, that's great. Little video game commentary. That's true. He did mention that earlier. You're gonna make yourself a can you? <laughs> Bird torture. That is considered a dick move. I think Ben's over here. Oh, sorry. Ben, what are you doing, buddy? Ben, Ben. Are you so little? He's sitting right next to the chair here. Hey, Ben, Ben. Usually around this time, he's up on the counter trying to knock over the monitor, but I'll thank him for now for being nice. Hi, Marty. I have that sound effect recorded. I have to do all my audio editing sometime when cats on. Don't go in the dark feathers. Anyway, I can't do sound effects work when I'm babysitting in the morning because there's Mr. Rogers and Cameron babbling in the background. So one day when he's home, I'll try to knock it out. Totally sure. Thank you. People wearing bird costumes. Hey. Someone in the ruins. Maze. It's a corn lady. Glad she got to see the sun. It's a book. Oh, she just comment on whatever I show her. My pen! That makes sense. Sweet. This bird mask clearly emoted. Right, it's like a Spider Man's mask. I didn't skip some text there on accident. What's up? Nice. Hey, Nodovan, how you doing? Doesn't bounce around as much as it used to. Really, I need to fill the ball. The main quest. What a coincidence. Nodovan's got a big family, too. I 
need something to write with. Yeah, it's a very adventure game to do. It's where our people are buried in. Ah. Our friend helps us. The machine allows him to fly. Cool. Good to know. Keep that in mind. Just saying many things about your family, not about you. No problem. Thanks for the feather that I'm totally... A sacred artifact. Totally not using as a pen. She's super dead. Bums me out. I will be pleased if she makes it to the end of the game. We'll see. She probably still can't give me my son back, right? The light's gone out. I don't. Uh oh. It's a good question. Her name is Maze. It's just a little corny. I don't know why this would combine with anything, but you know how it goes. She give me a shame achievement for trying to brute force everything. Thanks, sir. Let's warp to... No, I can't warp from here. How did I get to that guy? I know I can warp there once I'm outside. I can just do that. I'm wondering if that's important. They've established that if I don't have the sun, eventually it runs out. What is the gate? How can I sleep here now? So just as a reminder, what happens when we sleep in a bed, it's kind of neat. Game just closes, and then we potentially get a new... Looks like it's the same cutscene, a reminder of the main character's world. It looks like it captures normally, like there's no special pop-ups or anything. Combine the seat with a t-shirt, naturally. I'm trying to think what else it could do. I could write text files on my computer, it can change my desktop image. I did see it. Big field, and I saw my village, and then I woke up. Ben. Hi, Ben. How are you? Just unplug my monitor, Ben? Some people's cats! Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. That's exceedingly rude. It's the one that has chat in it, too. Uh, yes, I grew up in Illinois. Yeah, I guess. I've been to the ocean, care of my wife. Yeah, he's holding the monitor hostage until he gets waffles, exactly. He hasn't made it into the freezer in the house, only in that one apartment. We haven't had to put a child lock on it. Me too. 
I need to sleep with a uh, fan running. No problem. That's cool. Yeah, I really like the dialogue in this game. It's very well written. I'm always concerned about dialogue in indie games because it's easy to overdo it. I found a pen, sort of. Can do. Totally face my fears, a crowbar. He just seems innocent. <laughs> right. Fought him with a microphone. Monsters Inc. style. Oh no, it's another glitch. So we can't leave. It's <laughs> courage. Yeah, the gun. That was in Professor Land Fun Bucks. Art in this game is gorgeous. Ah, the sun. Into the refuge. Surface, look down. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. It's the library for me. Thanks, dude. No worries, Hunter. You have another tab playing. <laughs> Off limits. I have the sacred kernel. That is indeed the kernel. Uh, no. Take the seed to the garden, put it in the pot in the center. Will do. Oh no. <laughs> I've ever seen that uh, clip from like a webcast of the audio looping over and over. Linux kernel. Uh, there's no dirt in the pot. Let's see it really grow like this. Try to keep an eye out for some dirt later. I love the difference in the design of this zone from the Glen zone from the Barrens. <laughs> You're gonna get along really well with Propagable, Luna. It's always threatening to ban people. Thanks, Hunter. Appreciate it. Thanks for the host, Elias. You're super awesome. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate that. Come on. Come on. Work already. I love the shadowy portrait. Why isn't this working? Bones are the highest form of humor, and the correct response is a groan. What is this dude? So it could be a lady. Looks like she has a five o'clock shadow there. Whoa, you're you! This is embarrassing. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, please. How do I get to the surface? Busted? Right, Hunter. Any buttons? Yeah, that's a problem. How? I'm Mr. Crafty Man. That's what I do. Interesting. 
Got that anime hair. It's like a little diner. Hey, empty coffee tin. You never know. Hi there. The cafes have tons of people. These infrastructure's been suffering a lot. These skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. The arrival way of transport of those elevators. Uh, poor guy. He's maintenance. Yeah, he's got something to do with the lights. Okay, cool. Not in coffee. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need trash. I wonder if anyone's made a, a game, an adventure game, that violates the only and exactly rule and just fills your inventory with a bunch of actual junk all the time. I don't think I've ever played one. Usually every game I've played, whatever you can get in your inventory is necessary for all the puzzles. It says ground. First, we have magnetic technology. Okay. We didn't want to make wire sprites. Icom Games did that a lot. Like, how much junk did they give you? I don't know if that's good. I think that's bad game design, but... Sure, we keep getting a different cutscene every time so far, so we may as well. Uh, this is different. Is this also a cat person? Pancakes? No, that's right. Hi, Ben. What are you jumping around and doing there, buddy? Yes, I know. You're very furry. You're very handsome. Like, I hate you so much right now. I just want... Why aren't you feeding me? After stream, buddy. I'll be fine. Let me say pancakes and look. Mama was there. Sure did. Fucking love pancakes. Always get their favorite food on their birthday. I do have a birthday. I do like pancakes. I prefer waffles. I've I personally believe that the waffle is a flat, it's a strict upgrade to the pancake. Like, if you currently have pancakes equipped as your food item, and you find some waffles in a chest, and you're trying to compare the stats on them, like, all the stats would be green. We've had this discussion before, some people disagree, and I think it's fair. Opinions, opinions. When is your birthday? <laughs> this lock seems to ask for your social security number. <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? This means a waffle is a pancake that has syrup traps, right? But I guess I learned in a recent pancakes are, or that waffles are a strict upgrade over pancakes rant, that the uh, batter for pancakes is different. Didn't know that. Fair enough. I feel like I hate pancakes much more quickly than I hate waffles after eating them at length. It's a Mitch Hedberg joke, right? Pancakes. First you love them, then you're fucking sick of them. I do like this kid. He seems pretty chipper with this whole adventure thing. Ratio gets messed up. So I'm actually... Uh, I break the rules. I don't put sugar on my pancakes or on... Or I'm sorry, I don't put syrup on my pancakes or my waffles. I put sugar. Like granulated refined sugar, because I like the uh, the texture crunch. Even though it's like actually less sugar content than maple syrup, everybody looks at me like an alien when I do it. That's okay. I like 
Remember where I wanted to unsubscribe? <laughs> I'm sorry. Abstract painting. Landscape painting. You are I model 8 XM home security bot. I have to report to you. I'm the Messiah. Yeah, there is less sugar and sugar than the syrup. It really, it really is. Like I've done the the math on it before, the amount that I put on there. Maple syrup does taste good. I am still monitoring you. Alert has been set to low. My wife. Andrea used to uh, abuse my tolerance for spicy food whenever we'd go get sushi and say, Hey, watch. Hey, Dylan. Eat a whole thing of wasabi. I can do it. I still don't like doing it. She doesn't make me do that anymore. Hey, what's this person's deal? All the ellipses. Goodness. Getting squalled out here. Okay. Penguin plush. Hello. Hello, penguin. Hello. 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 That's cute is the word I would use to describe that. <laughs> sure, ones and zeros. We have four robots playing cards. Sure, what game would you like to play? Scissors. Duration of turns. <laughs> Parents are like literally never home, but oh my, I'm used to it. Using that word tamed robots. It's a robot thing, I can't explain it either. I'm sure it's not gonna be a bad thing at all. use tame to refer to basically all the robots we've seen in the game. The robot? R-O-W bot? Oh, difficulty settings in Rock, Paper, Scissors 2. That are prediction models. I'm guessing everyone who plays Rock, Paper, Scissors does not make their decisions truly randomly, right? Then that you could... I actually... Somebody Google this. I bet this exists. Has someone made a bot that will play you in Rock, Paper, Scissors and eventually figure out your pattern and beat you more than, you know, 50% of the time? I guess you'd probably have to play hundreds of games for it to realize your pattern. I'm sure from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. From the Glen. Sure have. Betsy doesn't need a muzzle. She's fine. Obviously, he's a nicotine match. It's a Roomba. <laughs> Should ride on it. Do it. Hey! Cats riding on Roombas. Really? There's a contest a long while ago between programs for that. That's cool. We ride at dawn, achievement unlocked. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. It's a person with a potted plant for a head. At least myself. Next level tomfoolery. You're a gardener, right? Have any dirt? Take this whole bag. Thanks, dude. We have my shame achievement. Well, this game doesn't ever really seem to have combinations that make no sense at all. And clippings, watering can, sink, trowel. Like an owl. I only 
plan hard enough to survive the industry outside the environment? One of my customers really likes them. Hmm. Does he happen to write a weird book like this? Some sort of a big deal, or at least it's really passionate about his work. Gonna be creepy, whatever the deal is with that. Coffee machine. I'm too young to drink coffee. Phone books. People are going to know what phone books are anymore. It's a person with a TV for a head. A scarf. That's me. Tell her I like her needlework. Okay. It's a little weird. Such a pothead. Uh... Rich has magnets on it. Hey, all the fridge magnets. I really like the icon sprite art in this game, too. It looks official. Definitely played some games with bad sprite art. It's a fridge, it's a sink. Is a one way. Okay, because it was a shortcut. They wanted me to make sure I saw everything there first. Gotcha. Garden. Here's my dirt. Gotta find some water, which we have from earlier. Water later. Now I got my empty tube. Uh, let's try going to. I guess we can just explore. There's a lot of stuff I can do now. I've got a bunch more items. Off you go. I'm working on it. I gotta find the ground button or create a ground button. I wonder if that's actually tracking the number of minutes since I talked to him last. Said it uses magnets. Magnets in some way. I've got the coffee grounds. Probably nothing else to do in the coffee shop. We're playing for about another hour and 15 minutes today. If we don't finish the game, um, we're going to come short of the how long to beat estimate. We will wrap it up tomorrow at the beginning of stream. Before frog fractions. Okay, that's a bed. Nothing to do in there.
We also haven't been stuck for a long time, so depends on how accurate the how long beat is. I don't think these are exits. I think there is another door leading out of the building, but I don't think I can get to one. It's not as far as I can tell. Hmm. There aren't any pickups in rooms that I visited that I failed to grab yet, right? Or is there anything that I've missed that was obvious? You can go ahead and answer that. Pickups are obvious. I do like that about the game. There's a lot of stuff to interact with, but they tend to make the pickups stand out a little bit better, you know? Are there any items that I'll need to recover back from the previous zone? The Glen? Because I think I got that water from the Glen and I haven't been back there since I came here. I didn't think I could return there at all. No? Okay. Cool. No. I think there would be a path over this way. Just the bed. Hmm. It is tracking the time since I've been on the puzzle. Yeah, I saw the evil squares behind me. I just wanted to be sure that that was in fact the case. Oh, I never went this way. Good afternoon. Nobody doesn't really need anything now. Sun gone, the night never seems to end. Ships. It could do a system clock puzzle, that would be neat. In fact, I'm guessing that's what they're doing next, because they've just established that that guy can count the number of minutes since I talked to him last. Feel free to use though. Oh, it's shiny to say that I can interact with Issue to report. Surface power alert sphere is broken. There's a button missing. What would I want to tape? I don't think any of these things. Making sure though before I leave. Just wanted to be sure, I know. Music died. Interesting. Interesting. Creepy. This reminds me of the Starman Deluxe base from Earthbound. Hmm. This feels pretty... I've actually never been to a big city before. Got a long lore way. <laughs> There's one of these in Undertale as well. Uh, like a ship? 
I don't know if I'd call this Alamos a city or a village. Ah, okay. That's that is a lore hallway. Just loops around. Parallax. Talking to Butthead again. All right, let me switch back to the desktop view. You're gonna need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer may be revealed when you bring it back again. Okay, you printed out a strange transparent sheet. Huh. Expose it to the void. Interesting. So, so far all of the terminal puzzles have been... ...relevant. They have something to do with, um... Oh, what if I close the game? The game saves when I close it, right? Like, I don't have to be at a bed to do that. I guess I saved fairly recently the last time I was out of bed. It does. Okay. Cannot perform this action during cutscenes. This action will record your progress in this world. You need to relaunch the application. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Okay, so that wasn't it. That was my first idea. How else would I expose it to the void? I guess I can move the window, but it said that it was possible to play. Can I minimize it? Minimizing it didn't do it. You move it around. Ooh. Oh, that's wild. No way. Wow. So just to show you what I just did, I wasn't even thinking about it being on screen there. Um, I took the window and I moved it off the monitor. <laughs> and that was exposing it to the void. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Cool. I love this game. Uh, 63014. Okay. Screen's off because now I have the answer. Yeah, you, just, you gotta really expand your view of the design space of your computer, right? Alright, so I can't do anything with the uh, tape. Is there an item or a room that I've missed in the areas I've already visited? Because I've been in the apartments. Can I work from here? Let's see. I've been to the garden. Missed a room. Where did I miss it? The apartments, probably? It's the only place I can think of that had a bunch of things. Okay. Is it just one of these pink doors, or is it inside one of the pink doors? Yeah. The design space of your computer. Like, what are the things that a game could possibly interact with. Oh, it's one of the non pick doors. I thought I checked all of them. My bad.
Yeah, because I went all the way down in this hallway. Like, this is suspicious that this would even exist in the first place if I can't get any of these rooms. Maybe there's an exit from this room. Because there are small isolated plots or a flower. It doesn't, Spikey. I had to move it all the way off, because when I moved it left and right on the monitors, nothing happened. It wasn't until I moved it to the edge. I'll pet Japanese Tova and Esperanto. Yeah, I'd love to see more games play around with that idea. ARG effect. This game is really good at conveying what you're supposed to do as well. So is this just inside one of these rooms, maybe? I tried all the non-pick doors. But it's definitely inside the part of the building that I'm in right now. to interact with the uh, tape room, I guess. It's not one of the top rooms, and there must be a door along the bottom here somewhere. Maybe it stands out. Oh, I didn't even see that. Nice. Soap dispenser, the bathroom. Hey! That's a little weird. Chopping off all their hair. Oh, and it's green. Okay. It would make sense to cut the film. Ah, button? It just says ground. <laughs> okay, so I need to use the tape. Let me go get the tape. That was in the office, right? Cut up the t-shirt with the scissors, but dear you. I think. Insert the button now. No tape. Hey, you tried. You tried. <laughs> That's the thought that counts. never went that way. Yeah. I appreciate that, though. We haven't really been stuck through other means, right? Here we go. Hey, that makes perfect sense. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, maybe it is good. That's never happened before. Square stuff happens all the time. I'm on it. I know the code, don't worry. 63014.
put it in the void, move it off the desktop. It's awesome. It works. Good job, kid. All in the side business. It's teensy bit ominous. Having a squall off again. <laughs> Ask about his job. Resume awkward silence. Fix lights. Super concert and glowy stuff. More broken robots. Hmm. Now this sequence is... feels pretty ominous. She's from the Barons, where Glenn folks are moving in. Pursuit of awkward science. Ask about the library. That's us. Nico. Nico is Jaden's middle name, spelled that same way. Beep boop. This is a sign. It's the world of the sun. I'm gonna try. I love that they didn't have you input the name. And they give you a chance to fix it like right now, but pulling it from the computer is great. It makes it feel even more official because then it's surprising when it happens. Dylan thing has been a lie. Hey there. Oh, Jade and Nico. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have his last name. Actually, see, I need to have a second pet camp. It's just, oh, Marty's there too. Hi, hey, Marty. Hi, Marty. Both kitties. Knocking over Coke cans. Great. All the people at Fishbowl Head, the Clock Head, Potted Plant Head. Newspapers are for grown ups. I am a robot. <laughs> Hello, person. The library is up ahead. That is where I'm supposed to go. Uh, gone in an instant. Yeah. I'll slowly fade. Shit. Daddy! Oh, other more different what? What about the chatty one upstairs? The author's books cover a wide range of topics. Author, I'm wondering, is that the developer is talking to me, the gamer? That's passion of civilization. Interesting. Do you need directions? seen the author not even once <laughs> it 
This is a game that has set me up very well in the event that the author is in fact a developer self-insert. Normally that would be very eye-rolly, but the game's done a good job of establishing a relationship with the character. I assume that's who I'm talking to with the strange journal here. And the uh, every time I've done a fourth world fourth wall break computer puzzle. I guess we'll find out. What are you doing to that book? <laughs> Just like a Library of Babel thing. Interesting. Black. Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. Oops. General rule, if a phosphor loses this glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy, but even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Survey of phosphorus found in the natural world. Blue phosphor found in the barrens. Moderate levels of energy, consistent with organic and mineral form. Mineral is most commonly found in the metallic sand. Organic is found in the shrimp. Oh, this came back in 2003? Did the RPG Maker version do the fourth wall shenanigans as well? The light emission of the blue phosphor is possible. Powerful. Describe a self-conserving property as a glow may not be constant. This forms a phosphor stop. Two thousand three seems really early. It was made using RPG Maker two thousand three. Okay, that makes more sense. Three common phosphor screens are the highest energy. So, the Glen phosphor, the fireflies, is higher energy than the medium energy of the Barons. It's the rarest sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and mosses in minute amounts. Deal for industrial use. Red, lowest energy. Mineral form, blood in the city's water channels. Special high energy state of greater luminosity. So it's green, green, blue, red. It's not an Undertale copycat. Man, anyone who calls anything an Undertale copycat, I got words. <laughs> Undertale has so much to owe to Earthbound and Mother 3 and every SNES RPG, it is itself a great referential work to video games in general. I'm preaching to the choir, but for anyone watching this in the future on YouTube, if you've thought that, I'm, I'm going to take what Robin was saying, my sister. I'm going to pray for you. Get your house together. Tell copycats and people's kids. Earthbound's another tell copycat. We all stand on the shoulders of giants. Thank you, Yukupo. <laughs> we live in a glorious age where we can make self self referential art with the video game medium. There's enough video games out there that you can make games that kind of depend on your knowledge of the rest of the medium to appreciate, which has been true with conventional painted and sculpted art for thousands of years and books for thousands of years and movies for decades. That's what Quentin Tarantino does. in human pace. If I haven't seen as far as others, it was because giants were standing on my shoulders. Stop time. Saw in a movie once about superheroes. So it illustrates them. 
Merge the new ecological niches in a post sun world. Phosphor shrimp, seed shrimp. Okay. Common firefly. Lighting lamps. Excuse me. Welcome. Primitive. Let me call her. Head librarian George. It's worrisomely like an actual Google Voice calling sound. But they have the little emotes to let you know. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if they gave you a phone number to call in game. Give you like a code or something. Goes past four rings. I'm the Messiah! <laughs> I wonder if people have reconstructed the number that's being dialed, because you can hear the dial tones, right? It's a knowable number. is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Good running theme. Six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. <laughs> right. I don't have anything that looks like a library card. Hmm. I'm not missing anything to do in the library for now, right? I have to go out and find something elsewhere, I'm guessing. George over and over, right? It's a trash bin. Whoa, that was creepy. I did. Check all of the branches here. They're actually pretty light. Oh god. Okay. I'm so sorry. I think they have so many of them specifically to uh, discourage what I'm doing right now. I'm so sorry. Gotta give me a shame achievement. <laughs> it's 
Skip ahead a few seconds. I really am sorry. Sometimes you do stuff. You would never feel bad about it if you weren't doing it when people were watching you. Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplater. Okay. Red glowing fluid. Understanding robots. That one's shiny, but I can't interact with it. It's a small enough inventory. Uh-oh. Please do not approach. That's the fox we saw earlier. If you're looking for me, I cannot talk to you, not now. Can you promise me something? Find a way to return, please do. Ah. That's creepy. I think the music's very fitting in this game, too. Like, do a good job of. Seamlessly integrating into the different scenes that you reach. I've played games before where the soundtrack doesn't really match the game very well, even if it's good. Where did fish? I need bread that came out of a man's head? I'm not sure. Yes. <laughs> what? All right, so now I need to warp back to... Hopefully it's still damp and I don't have to go back and get more water. Was it possible for me to get through the Glen sequence without having the vial of water? Oh wait, I should just warp there. Uh-oh. So does this not, am I screwed now? So I should have saved the water, basically. Bummer. Since I didn't save it, I can't combine it. I can get water elsewhere. Can I get water in this refuge area, or is it down in the lower part of the city? off in like a week. Just take another pill. Okay. Let's 
still a lot of areas I have to explore here. Pass the security system test. Change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. That is part of the test. I need to find someone somewhere to tell me. Hmm. Running out of light in six months. Going to be another fourth wall break puzzle, I would guess. Let me help you to go one color at a time. Oh, is it a. It's a logic puzzle? Write down previous attempts. So they want me to brute force it. All else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Interesting. Thanks, management. They can't be serious, right? Oh. How many lights correct did it say? I scrolled through it too fast. Two, I think. Okay, so this was definitely blue. I think it said two. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's ruined. I mean, it looks like something is actually ruined. These do not approach. We've got this, Marstead. First try. Square particles has took out two of my robots in the blend. I have the water analysis project. <laughs> I think I got somewhat lucky in that the initial arrangement I did had two correct. If it had been zero correct, that would have been kind of rough. The silver point usually references the author's work. She fell asleep. Keep my eyes open. Oh wow, I thought she was a duck person. She looked like um the sprite from this angle, she looked like uh oh what's the name of the duck hero from DuckTales? You'll be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn block. Hello there, sorry about the weird security measures. Did they now? Portrait looks cool. Sounds like George. Thanks. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, I thought she was serious. It's more obvious when she's facing this way. Kinda. Huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Huh. You know it. Oh, okay. I thought this inventory was going to get, uh... It's going to stay shrunken down. My glitter glue. <laughs> right. She does look like that same lady. Make sure I didn't miss out on lore. She's identified as an engineer. Haha, <laughs> interesting. I appreciate not missing it. Functioning at a frightening rate. I'm glad they give you a chance to figure that out on your own. Okay. Cannot stop spinning. RPG Maker. Your head's a TV? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> okay, so you need to find a place to fill the water. Wasn't anything else up here, right? I think so. Okay. This game seems like a really concise experience if it's really just, you know four to five hours long. I'm impressed with that. And it's basically an adventure game. I keep thinking I can get the water there because it's shining, but I don't think that's how that works. I don't think I can get to that building either. Don't have anything to put in there yet. I could double check. Keep silver points. I think I'm gonna need to put a lot of things in here. Is this like? It looks like it's a camera that's gonna take my picture, so I can get my picture replaced. Yeah. Okay. This is where I'm gonna go. Let's try putting the light bulb in it. use print screen or something. No, that would be kind of cool. So there's a one, two, three, four marker. Gotcha. I don't know how I would know what the order is supposed to be. I know it though is the question. So I definitely have to have them. I could brute force this. Maybe somebody tells me the trick elsewhere. It wouldn't be too bad to brute force. 
It would be bad to brute force. I really don't want to brute force it. Maybe I should go turn in the library card and have her say that the picture's wrong before I correct the picture. Tape it on there. Let's try that first. Just in case, I didn't like read a document earlier that explained the camera system, right? The order of the lenses. Like in the room where I got all the lenses in the first place. brute force it, it wouldn't be awful. Paths here I haven't checked out. Right. You have the club uniform, you may come in. <laughs> Secret. Secret Ram Club. It's good to see you too. We meet again. Aren't you from the village? Even in your heart. <laughs> Special Ram Club wiki site. <laughs> Bad. Pretty good static sound. Achievement unlocked. Shock. The word "bah" is written on its wall. Read only. Uh, how happy they are. Static shock achievement. Interesting. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Join you cats. But I'm not a cat. I'm not walking four legs. Your head is shaped like a cat. So, okay, I'm just going to go back to the library, but I'm guessing that I can't do that uh, camera puzzle I without brute forcing it. I, I haven't found that information. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I resemble the owner of the card. Bummer. Okay, so I got to use the camera. Have I missed what I'm where I'm supposed to learn how to use the camera? Has that been? in one of these buildings somewhere. Not found the solution. Hmm. Been virtually everywhere else down here. I haven't figured out where to use the water pill and I don't even have a guess for it. Some place I've already been to. Is it on the lower level? Thank you. 
Hey, there we go. Medicated water. Oops. So it's in the lower level. Okay. Let me get back on the elevator here. Lenses. I'm trying to think of characters that I've met or areas I've been to. Sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plants. Alright. God, right? I guess I could just go talk directly to There's too many places for me to check. Who should I, do I have to have one of these lenses equipped and like talk to a specific person or something? Or like, can you give me the general area I should be investigating? Is it the factory? Is it the vendor street? Picture. Oh, so there's right behind me. Okay. She confirms that this is the place I need to be. Hey, Dieter. How you doing? How is your Tuesday treating you? Thick lens. Oh, it's a logic puzzle. Cool. Okay. I guess I can take advantage of my desktop capture for this. Thick lens to left of curved lenses. Hopefully none of these people are liars. Thin lens between two curved. So I literally got them so just break into my house. <laughs> Sorry about breaking into your house. The lenses. I 
Thanks for the tip. I wouldn't have thought to start asking people on the road here, but it makes sense that they serve a purpose. So just keep saying that. No additional clues. Must be one of the camera engineers. Camera, we went through thick and thin together. Through thick, thin. Concave lens. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought to talk to the person outside. That's what I meant to say. Bulgy lens goes on one of the ends. Okay, so if it's bulgy, I'm sure they mean thick. Or they mean convex. So we could try convex if that's what they mean, which means that thick has to go to the left of the curved lenses. Oh no, that can't be right. All right, hold on. If the bulgy lens is on one of the ends and the thick lens is to the left of the curved lenses, then the bulgy lens has to be on the other end. So this one. And if the thin lens is between two curved lenses, let's see. Thick and thin concave went. Thin lenses between two curved. So the thick lens is either here or here. It can't be here, right? And we have to have something between the thick and the thin. So, probably goes here. That means the concave goes here. First try. Nice. Jeez. All right. That was a cool puzzle. Mm, oh, glitter glue. All right, Kip's library card. Love the glitter on the background of it, that's cool. Back to the library. We've got this, Marstead. Wah, ow, wah. First try. Good to go, have a nice day, Miss Kip. <laughs> You guys will let me know when we reach a natural stopping point. I don't think we're going to beat the game in 15 minutes, unless if it, the pace accelerates really suddenly here. But the plan is to start up with this game tomorrow before Frog Fractions, and then go from Frog Fractions into Castle in the Darkness. Hello! You have dice for a head. That's me. Check out the archives. Video tour. I'm supposed to go in the tower. How do I get in? Ha. Huh. Kind of knowledge is recorded in some kind of cryptic book. <laughs> well, I got you covered with that. I do have this. Any book? Where did you find this? Borrow this journal. Cool. Cool. Take a nap, close the game, and relaunch it. Clover symbol just means it's written by the author. Ah. Interesting. Another fruitful visitor of the great prophet today. She seemed in high spirits. She told me she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival more vivid than ever. Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. I'm sure of the house's location. Maracus is also present. 
That's what I'm expecting too, Yukupo. Sketchbook. Still life, some objects on my desk. Various sketches, practice. Well, those are all places from earlier in the game. I wonder if that's actual concept art. Most pigmentation is primarily black. The leaves display incredibly iridescence when exposed to sunlight. Various plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. Hmm. First life forms to colonize our world. Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate her prototype. To the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications. Like the robots of she. Use a radically different architecture of the microprocessor due to limited resources. The late prophet's message. Mm. The robot stands in for a dead human. Interesting. Alright. Book on the ground. Deeply believe in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, you liken the probability of the rolling of dice. Very easier and easier to believe, but I couldn't describe it very well back then. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Ah. Interesting. Is that different for different people playing the game? She's four in this game. Haha. <laughs> Just noticed the closed eyes. I'll swap it to uh, Benedict. Benedict, you're, be you're Benedict. Put on the uh, desktop mode here. Sure. And we'll relaunch the game. Oh no. Broke the light bulb. Is it just a nightmare? I sure did. Not gonna talk about it this time, huh? I just noticed the symbol on the bed is the same as the symbol that we had to draw when we did the puzzle where it changed the desktop background. Which looks like the light bulb. Had a good nap. Screws up people's speedruns of this game. <laughs> I'm sure somebody speedruns one shot. Take a look yourself. Greetings, Mars. If you can finally read this, that means you're near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. <laughs> Have contacted you right away. For its own means, the entity will guide both of you to the tower. The entry room is the tower's base. Three pieces of the previous sun. Savior not been doing anything there. You, on the other hand, look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone. So you need to bring it back. Interesting. <laughs> Things that contain yellow phosphor. Thanks. Feather a die and a piece of amber. For what the significance is. Go to the small room of the base of the tower while having three pieces of the previous one in your possession, and then you'll stand in the room and Marshall will do something about floor patterns and windows. Okay. Have I been to the base of the tower already? I don't know if I remember reaching it earlier.
So you know, I already did move the window. I tried to enclose the window earlier when I was doing the uh, film puzzle. And it told me I couldn't do it during a cutscene, so I'll probably try it again there. Where the cafe is? No. Sure. Hopefully they do have pancakes. I haven't been to the tower entrance yet. Okay, thanks. Elevator ride with God. Howdy. You recovered all hit points, but you're still hungry. Thanks! Appreciate that. Make them elevator jams. No problem. Okay, still hungry should just be a command. Aw, it's so sad. Yeah, I've been having a bad feeling since the opening sequence. It started off dark and then got whimsical, and now it's dark. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know how to deal with a kid who's crying. Achievement unlocked. Pancakes. Now is the tower back down on the surface, probably? We're about at time, so uh, I think I'll go do whatever the tower puzzle is, and then we'll call it for today. Um, if anyone can help me get there, since we only have about five minutes left, some general directions would be appreciated. Cakes. Get below ground from the surface. Okay. No, I think I saw one of those a long time ago. Oh uh, yeah, I never came down here. That's not what they're talking about right here, is it? I guess I'm gonna just have to have it in my inventory. Probably pop out of the tower down there later. Assuming the tower is not just the end of the game. This is just the library. It's hmm. another entrance. Okay, so it's not the library. Maybe it's the back alley. It's near Vendor Street. I did see a path somewhere around here-ish. That looks like a tower to me. Oh, this is going to be a shortcut, probably. 
does not open from this side. Gotta play that bitch in uh, Chrono Trigger sound font music from the Final Tower in uh, Undertale. I forget the name of the song. Okay, I understand. Close. Literally just close the window. Core, that's it. What an obvious hint. It's interesting that they remind you again. Oh, that's interesting. The painting style goes to more of a sprite style. The inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Here's the sun. Oh my god. Oh my god! Although actually it was sort of obvious. I hope we have to use control out delete at some point, like use the task manager. <laughs> Kill the process. That would be awesome. I'm here. I need to worry. Yo, talking into the microphone. Okay, so is this a decent stopping point here? I think it's gonna have to be. We'll pick up from here uh, tomorrow, then. Yes. Awesome. I really like this one-shot game. Uh, if you've never played it before, if you just kind of walked in on it, I really recommend it. It's pretty cheap on Steam, and it's very cool. Yeah, I wonder if I go in and say, oh, if I say Kawaii. Oh. Kawaii. Don't ever do that again, Marsha. Thanks. Thanks. Game's real cute. All right, so we will finish uh, one shot.